Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are watching the 2016 psychological horror film called A Cure for Wellness. Lockhart, who is an executive at a financial service firm in New York City, is sent by a board of directors to retrieve CEO Roland Pembroke, who had up up abruptly decided to stay at a wellness center in the Swiss, Swiss in the Swiss Alps. So at the spa, Lockhart is met with resistance by the staff and Dr. Heinrich Voma in attempting to speak with Pembroke. Lockhart leaves but is involved in a car accident and awakens at the center Supposedly, three days later, with his leg in a plaster cast, in spite of uh, the horrendous accidents, both he and the driver suffered only minor injuries. So, my only confusion is that if they both have minor injuries, why did he awaken only three days later? Anyways, Lockhart meets a mysterious young girl named Hannah, who among others, doses herself with a mysterious fluid from small cobalt colored bottles. Pa the patient Victoria Watkins and residents of the nearby town regale a fascinated Lockhart with the history of the spa. It was built on the ruins of a castle owned 200 years ago by a baron who desired an heir of pure blood and married his sister, a very common at that time. Learning she was infertile, he performed hellish experiments on the peasants to find a cure. He succeeded, but after finding the carelessly buried bodies of his victims, the peasants stormed the castle and set it on fire. The, they captured the baron's pregnant sister and the baby was cut from her womb before she was burnt. Why burn her? Why not burn him? She is not in fault. He is. But anyways, the baby was thrown into the local aquifer but somehow survived. So, if you don't know the meaning of an aquifer, um, the aquifer is a body of permeable rock which can contain or transmit groundwater. So, I'm surprised a baby can even survive being thrown into the aquifer. I wonder whether did they tie the baby up and like throw it in, or did they just throw it in and then like it like floats away somewhere? Cause just throwing it in doesn't really do anything, does it? Anyways, Lockhart attempts to escape the center, but no one is allowed to leave. After gifting Hannah a ballerina feathering, Lockhart bites into town with her help, leaving her in a bar and seeking out a translator for Pembroke's German medical dossier. He learns that the people of the spa suffer from dehydration despite the water they imbibe from the aquifer. Hannah kept at this, who is kept at the spa her entire life, explores the bar and attracts a local's attention. Lockhart returns to get and gets into a fight with a man who was dancing with Hannah. He is rescued by Dr. Volmer, by whom the locals are curiously cowed. So the cure is ingested by Hannah, Boma and his staff to gain vastly 
lengthen lifespan. Oh, so now I get it. They are f from 200 years ago. Lockhart realizes that his leg is never broken and is being kept prisoner. Volmer subjects Lockhart to nightmarish treatment, warping his mind until he believes he is insane. Hannah perceives this change and this Lockhart back the ballerina Federine. And in the ensuing fight, Volmer's face is revealed to be a mask hiding his hideous burns. Lockhart sets Walmer and the castle on fire but is overpowered by Vorma. Hannah saves Lockhart by killing his father, who falls into the aquifer and is eaten by eels. Eels do not eat people. This is the only thing that is misleading. Lockhart and Hannah escape on a bicycle as fire engulfs the center and crash into a car carrying Lockhart's employers. Having come to retrieve him and Pembroke, Lockhart tells his employers that Pembroke died and is ordered into the car. He rides away with Hannah eerily smiling as they finally escape the asylum. So the I wonder whether this Lockhart is no longer Lockhart but is actually his Hannah's father pretending to be Lockhart. We spent the first nine months of our existence submerged. Our bodies were strictly equipped. This sensory deprivation Geneva simulates a return to that embryonic state. Think of it as a cleansing.